Hi, how's it going? I'm here to give you my 26 week pregnancy update. Um, my name is Fiona and I have two children already. My little girl is six and my little boy is three and I'm pregnant now on baby number three. So yeah, just the general kind of update for how the pregnancy is going and it's going really well. I feel great. I did unfortunately have like a gastric bug um, last week, which was not pleasant. And I was a little bit worried because I had really bad cramps, but then I realized it was just a bug because we all got it. And um, thankfully though, it was just like a two day thing and now it's gone and I feel great again. As well as that, I've had another visit from my midwife. <clears throat> we were planning our third home birth and she comes about once a month at the moment. But uh, when I get to, I think it is about 30, two weeks she starts to come every two weeks and then when i get towards the end it's once a week so she came over it was during the easter holidays so both my children were at home so it was really lovely because they both know her already um she was our midwife for all three like uh, of the of my pregnancies and births so we all have a really strong bond with her and the kids love her and she plays with them and you know it's nice for them to, as well to just kind of be around when she's around and hear us talking about the birth and because they will be at home hopefully during the birth um my daughter was there when my son was born and i'd like them to be around they might be asleep if it's during the night which it probably will be I, my other two labors which are at night but it's just it's nice for the, nice for them to be around my midwife and you know, uh, when she checks for the heartbeat and everything, she usually asks them would they like, you know, their heartbeats to be checked as well. And that's really fun. You know, it's like they're part of it. They're part of the visits, you know, whereas if it was, if I, all my visits were in hospital, they wouldn't get to experience that at all. It would be kind of shut away from them, not shut away, but just not something that they would be exposed to. So that's just one of the lovely benefits of home birth is that, the children, your children already, like you already have, are really involved in it, which is really nice. So that visit went well. We talked a little bit about, you know, the birth and different plans that we have. Um, so just I, what I like to do is keep all options open. So I'll have, you know, my mom on call just in case. I need her to come and mind the kids or if the kids if it's during the day and it's going on for a long time which it probably won't because my last birth was quite quick um but you just never know then maybe she might take them out or you know mind them in the, in the garden or whatever so i just like to have lots of different options and um we also talked a little bit about paternity leave because now my husband can get two weeks paid whereas before i think it was two days so as in like the, the laws have changed since we last had our last baby. So that's really good to know. My husband and I also enjoyed a lovely night away. We went to a wedding in West Clare and that's the first time that we've been away, just the two of us um, like that in years. And it was just so special, you know, just to have time with the two of us and to just talk about all different things, including the new baby. I think that a pregnancy is a lovely time to kind of do that with your with your partner, you know, to, to go away and um, just the two of you and to have that kind of bonding time. That was really nice. One really nice thing that I did uh, in the past couple of weeks was buy a few things for myself, maternity clothes. And so it's kind of like a mini maternity haul. And I just went to H&M and to Mother Care and got a few pieces that I can kind of mix and match and wear together. And I also got some really generous donations from a family member. So I feel like I'm all set clothes wise now. I also have a lot of clothes from my previous pregnancies. So yeah, but it's also it's always nice to get a few like new things as well. So firstly, the shirt that I have on, the, on at the moment, just a really light summer shirt. Um, that I got in H&M and it's just so comfy to wear with leggings or jeans or anything. So this was 20 euro as I say in H&M and just plenty of space for my growing bump. I really like this one. And here you have a close-up of my 26 week bump getting nice and big and round. Then I also got these black 
maternity leggings from H&M as well. Just 10 euro and you can lift up the, um, the waist over the bump or keep it down, whichever is more comfortable for you. These are just so comfy. I would definitely recommend a pair and they go with absolutely everything. Then the next um, item that I'm just gonna uh, show you is this really cute red t-shirt with a floral pattern. Um, just really comfy and I like that it's fitted, but it's not tight, you know, it's just well fitted. And as well as the this shirt, th this t-shirt is it's easy to pull it down for nursing once the baby arrives as well. So um, I always think of that because yeah, like, you know, it may as well last for uh, beyond the pregnancy as well. So this was just 10 euro in H&M. Really, really good price for a nice top and just perfect for this time of year as well. Spring coming into the summer. So I'm delighted with this one. Then I also got this really cute dress from H&M too. It's like a um, red with white polka dots and like a, a nice frill detail around, around the neck. It is so cute. I just, I just love this. This dress is just so unbelievably comfortable and it cost me 30 euro in H&M. So then in mother care, I bought two pairs of maternity tights just because the, all my tights were starting to kind of annoy me around the lower belly kind of um, area and it, they were just uncomfortable. So those two tights have been like worn to death as well because we're having a really cold spring. So I have needed them. And then I also got this pair of jeans from mother care. I'll try it on for you now. Just, they're kind of like mom jeans. They're they're not skinny jeans, they're just baggy and comfortable and yeah, like a, a, like a lot of the trousers and the leggings as well, it's got the bit that goes over the belly if you want or you can leave it down. So I tend to leave it down because it kind of annoys me over my belly, but I know a lot of women love that. So, so these jeans cost me 46 99 in mother care. A bit more expensive than the other um, bits, but just they're so comfy I know I will end up living in, in them both towards the end of my pregnancy and early postpartum and they're just so comfy so it's really nice to have a few new you know pieces of clothing to wear and just makes you feel good. And I like kind of bright clothes. And I think when I find them, you know, maternity, bright, bright maternity clothes, I just have to get them because I'm like, just, just to bring a bit of brightness into, the, into my life, it's great. Also because my previous two pregnancies, well, I had a, a winter baby and a spring baby. So a lot of my clothes are kind of warm clothes. So it's nice to get a few kind of lighter t-shirts and tops and tank tops and things like that. That was really nice. So I suppose I'm at the point in my pregnancy where I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot of movement and really starting to kind of enjoy the pregnancy and looking forward to the birth. It's just such a special time and yeah, like I'm just loving it right now and I hope that lasts because I know the second trimester is the easiest or it has been for me of the three trimesters through all of the pregnancies that I've experienced and um, yes yeah, so I'm just kind of enjoying that at the moment and taking some time every day just to breathe and and send nice thoughts down to my baby and I guess teaching pregnancy yoga is really good for that because every week I get to connect with the moms in my class and we kind of do that together you know there's there's a lot of bonding with your baby involved in that and um, that's just lovely. So that's all I have for this pregnancy update. If you have any questions, you know, leave them down in the comments below. And if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to. Thanks so much for listening. Take care and bye.